Hey, what's up guys? I'm over here and welcome back to a brand new video here today where we are playing for the very first time Dakar Desert Rally. This is the official game of the Dakar Rally from 2020, 2021 and 2022 with 30 stages. Fully licensed in the game with licensed vehicles, teams and their pilots. And it's out right now on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. So without further ado, let's get into this. Welcome to Dakar Desert Rally. The greatest rally race on the planet. Pick up the road book to explore the vast Saudi Arabian desert. Dare to adventure in the most epic desert rally. All right, we're jumping straight into this. This is not my main domain, so this can only go so well. Follow my instructions and we'll make it to the finish line. I don't know about that, Chief. I don't know whether we'll make it to the finish line. I'm not going to lie, considering we went off within two seconds. I've got, I can't let my partner down. I'm driving a Sebastian Loeb as well. I'm doing him a disservice. So this is legit like actual open world because you can go the wrong way. And I have to use the compass on the top to try and navigate oh my lord and if i remember correctly i think the main map for in total is 20,000 kilometers of terrain making it the biggest open world racing game and that's actually insane how large that map is in comparison to not even just open world racing games just any open world kind of games that you can drive about potentially. Got it. Got it. Oh my, it's getting away from me. Oh, it's got it's got away, but it's fine. It's fine. Hint, complete this stage as fast as you can. Is that hint there just purely there because I've taken the wrong turn and I'm taking my sweet time? The game is insulting my skill level. Okay. Oh no. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, there's a bike pop. Oh, I thought I thought this was just the the car bit. We can do... There's bike rally here as well. Okay. All the different racing games I've played up till now. It's all been building to this. Okay. On two wheels or four wheels. I will go well. Until it goes horribly wrong. What else is there? Oh, trucks. There's everything. Oh, we're in snow as well. This game is off the bat within like, what, a minute? He's surprising me to no end. We've driven three different classes of uh, of, of motorsport here. This is this game, truly, I've been building up to it in my entire YouTubing career with various other games I've played. A very different kind of uh, vehicles. I'm going to take a shortcut there. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> I said I'm going to take a shortcut. And, I, and it failed straight away. Back it up. I bet they don't have to do a three-point turn. In the Dakar Rally. Big shock. Yeah, correct. Big shock that they've allowed me behind the wheel of this car. Not even car. Truck. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to do very well with this. Oh, my. Looks even more treacherous. And scary in cockpit cam. Let's move out of that. Got the oh dash cam. Okay, cool. And oh, oh, you know what? This camera is pretty sick. Obviously, being Dakar Rally, I assume because it's such a long endurance thing. You know that kind of that camera is going to be sick if we can explore the open world map. You know, 20k kilometers to explore in that map would be sick. But. I've come in first. I'm not going to lie, probably because that was just a tutorial level, but we'll move past that. Okay, so I thought it was just three different classes. We've got five different ones, cars, bikes, trucks, quads, SXS, and to be fair, shouldn't be surprised actually, because this game's fully licensed. Every single vehicle, team, and driver that's taken part in the 2020 and 2021 Dakar Rally is in this one with all 30 stages as well. So this is literally the official game of the Dakar Rally and it's so in-depth like we look at every car we've got like I can't afford a lot right now in the car department but you've got an insane selection Dakar 20 as well 21 22 as well upcoming as well and classics you've got the different bikes as well we've got the trucks oh man oh, some of the designs also what is that that is <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the equivalent. This design is the equivalent of like people with those bowling shirts with the fire on it. Quads, love that, love that. We've got the Fernando Alonso Renault days livery on this quads and the SXS. You know what? This looks like a bit of me, you know. I reckon this thing, prime for everything. Water, sand, snow, all seem like it had it was all different physics engines as well in terms of the handling model. So I re I'm, I'm very tempted by these. Now that you have your garage and your first vehicle, you're prepared to start racing on your first career event. If you really want to navigate and drive like a professional, then this is your game mode. Okay, this is absolutely not for me. I think sport is the one we want to go for. No beacons. So like I said, it is a big open world map and then you have the different stages, but the stages are mapped out on this massive open world map. So if I pan around, this is it. This is the full open world map of Dakar Desert Rally. This is crazy. I'm still going. I'm still going. Can I zoom out? Okay, there we go. Oh my god. This is this is mad. That's actually they weren't lying. This is actually legit the biggest open world racing game map you're ever gonna see. Like this is all I'm sure places you can drive around to different parts to get to your different stages. This is just the bit I've unlocked so far or I'm yet to unlock. So just in that little tutorial bit, we had, you know, the usual, you know, sand dunes. We had water to drive through. We had snow as well. This game features all four seasons and a full day to night cycle. You'll be facing so many different things like sandstorms and just the blaring heat and over the sand dunes, grueling rain as well. So that's also going to change things up and then snow or even deep mud. So... A lot of different things to overcome, and a lot of things that I personally will probably chip, trip up over. Welcome to the Bivouac. This is the campsite where you can sleep, eat, and where your team of mechanics can repair your vehicle. Every Dakar stage starts daily at the Bivouac, where you can check the briefing for the next stage, examine the road book, and tune and repair your vehicle. Drivers should be well prepared before starting each stage. That's what you think, but we do things differently here on this channel. We're going to go in blind, okay? No prep, no practice, and see how we do. We won the first one. I know that was just a little, you know, intro experience, but we did win it. But, okay, look, we literally got all the elements. Dust kicked up everywhere. Visibil I literally can't actually see the person I'm meant to be racing up the road. And, oh my god, oh, yeah, yeah. This is when I quickly realise how skilled rally drivers are. That they're able to actually focus on everything. And literally, the, the vehicle is moving every single straight. I'm having to click dab on the brake every turn. Because otherwise, the sand's just going to wedge into my tyre and take me somewhere else. I feel like my co-driver is saying the word danger. Too many tyres! Where are we going? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm James May. I'm lost. Where the and it's a dead end. Oh God! I was about to say he's saying danger every single time. I feel like every corner is danger for me. Ah, oh, there's a boat in the middle of the road. You can't be parking there, son. I feel like we are a little bit behind. I'm not gonna lie, fellas. Oh, oh, they're stuck. Oh, they're stuck. stuck. Hey, I'm not lost. <laughs> See you later, suckers. Oh my God, this is a big, big jump, big jump. Oh, don't roll it now, oh, my. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Full on damage physics there. Like we lost like half the car. Oh no. Oh, I've severely dented it here. Oh, I should have I should have listened to him. I should have listened. I should have slowed down where I'm going now. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Okay. So you literally actually have to slow down properly for these. Otherwise the car will roll. It really is as treacherous as the real thing. Oh, smooth road. Oh, much better. <laughs> right, so legitimately there's actual damage and it stays with you. That's concurrent damage that I've picked up from that insane roll. So I'm going to repair it for 43 credits. So that's actually going to now mean I have less credits then to go and buy maybe another vehicle if I wanted to. So if you keep on rolling like that, it's not going to be a great time. I've already had to repair the vehicle before we even began the career, but that's beside the point. We'll learn our lesson. We'll be a bit more cautious over the, the, the dunes, I feel, this time around. Okay. Oh, bumps. Okay. We're sticking with them. We're sticking with them. So far, so good. We're making an overtake. I've just done an overtake in the Dakar Rally. Come on. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he nearly went on his side. Easy. Oh, cut. Oh, I cut that fine. Oh, no. No, we've spun it. It's been a bit of a calm period. I'm trying to catch up to... 
get any higher than P7 where we started. It's going, it's been going a bit too well, to be honest. And now this, oh, I avoided the tree, just about. Made an overtake whilst I did it. We're into P6. That is so fine, though. When it starts going, like, you're on the controller, you can literally feel the tyre starting to wedge into the sand. Overall, though, it says we came in third here, so we got the podium. So, I get, it's in terms of time, the total time we did, but then others had repairs. So you had, like, the top bottom four people all had, like, you know, two minutes of repair time. And that's a lesson that I'm going to be taking into this rally now, okay? Now we know if we don't get damage, we can actually gain some more positions on the opposition. So he who is last may end up being first because he does not have damage as we're side by side. In the rally stage, we've made an overtake. We're up into first. We're literally having a ding-dong battle for P1 on, well, not the road, on the sand dune. Oh, okay. He's got me back. Francisco has got me back. It's fine. Round the outside. Oh, he's got the elbows out. Get off me, mate. Get off me. Left, left, left. Calm. Good. Yes. I am actually legitimately getting quicker by the rally we do. Turn right. Okay, easy. All right, I'm going to break in that case. Turn right. Oh, no. He's Oh, hey, hey, Jose, Jose, I'm watching you, mate. I'm watching you. We got him back, but that was a close one. If that got me any damage, you're in trouble. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, people. This is actually going a bit too well. We're in second still, and I'm actually keeping up with first here. Could I actually go on to win in my second ever only proper race? Nice. Oh yes, slow and steady really is the way. I didn't slam on the power that time. Oh, we, we've kind of met another different rally stage, it looks like here. Because that's a bike in its own race on the left-hand side there. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, that's sick. So different rallies can intersect each other because of the different stages, I guess. Because these guys ahead of me aren't in my race. Like, I'm P1 right now. So that must be a whole different stage entirely. Oh, my God. It's a tr oh, God. It's a truck and a bike. <laughs> Oh my god. Please, truck, do not take me out. I swear. This is like when you're on a motorway trying to pass a truck in your car. I'm, I'm indicating on the right, mate. I'm in the fast lane on the right-hand side down the A40. Please let me by. Why do I feel like... Oh my. Don't roll it. Oh my god. <laughs> that was insane. Oh, I've taken a wrong turn. No. Left. Left. We went wide, but we're still P1. Come on. Oh, easy. Okay, easy. Easy. Over this bump. Calm. No. No. Oh, my God. I was going to crash out, but I actually used second place as a barrier. Here we go. The run to the line. The finish. P1. Come on. Second only ever race. Proper one, not including the qualification. P1. Oh, stage three. We've got some proper rain. This is a full-on blown storm now here. I wasn't getting early with the whole four seasons thing. We're literally against all the elements. And I don't know what this is going to feel like now. Oh, my. No. No. Keep it. Keep it going. Yes. Back. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're still in the P3. Little mistake there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he's crashed. Oh, oh, there's a big AI. <laughs> this is chaos. They're having a mare as well. The AI making a couple of mistakes. Good to see, to be fair. It's always good when AI can make some mistakes. And then they're not just like absolute robots. And they play a bit more like actual players. Because I made my own mistake there. And they did as well. And it all kind of balanced out. Can I catch? We've still got about two thirds of the stage left. I could, could catch him if we keep this clean for now. As we go over bit of normal road terrain. We're going to the right. Oh, okay. Taking a bit of a liberty with that jump, but it's cool. It's getting us some time. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm stuck. No. It's all gone wrong. Oh, my God. Oh, lining as well. What the? Mate, please do not strike me. I swear. I. It would be my luck by getting hit by lightning in a game like this. Where are we going? Oh, left. I think we can safely say this is a rather biblical storm. Literally, the heavens have opened. This is turning into a Survive episode. You didn't know it, but we're playing Survive the Dakar Rally. Oh, oh, there's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? From now on, I'm judging weather systems in racing games and in and motorsport games to this game because this is insane. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh, we spanned someone round behind us, I think. And we're no. Yes, third place. Okay, I'll take that. 
I'll tell you, I'm pretty sure I literally just jackknifed someone in the mud right at the end there. Oh, that was crazy. I'm still so happy we got third after that mess up with the rocks. Okay, we can buy a new vehicle now. So we did SSX. We can do normal rally car, a truck. What I feel like doing a truck. Let's go. Right, we've got three new events unlocked because now we've got new, a new vehicle and a different style of racing to go. Extreme rally is opened up. In this, ah, oh, <laughs> the snow. Here we go. Oh my god, what have we just got ourselves in for? Look at this. It's good though. I love it that every vista changes because of the conditions. Oh my god, what is going on here? This is the camera they've opted for because I think we're doing a very long distance one. And to be honest, this might be the only way I'm going to see what's going on. Oh, don't tell me this is a jump. Oh, stick the landing. Yes. Thankfully, the truck has a bit of a sturdier landing than the uh, SXS. Oh, and oh, first place went a bit deep there. Here we go. Side by side for the lead. Go down the inside. We're going racing in the snow. And oh, I think he hit a rock. I'm in a tree. No. Bro, the cockpit. Oh, my God. The cockpit. This is scary. Uh, I wanted to just see what it was like. And this is just... Oh, my. This is such a challenge. How... I've got a crap windscreen as well because of that tree excursion. Ah, uh, yes. If I look at the data here, ah, uh, yes. I can see we have really messed that up. I can see P3 ahead of me just off in the distance there. But I can see them a bit more. I think that's them. I'm literally trying to, like, move my head around. To oh, my God. <laughs> this, game's, <laughs> this game's ridiculous. The physics are unbelievable. I think this might be the most fun I've had in, like, a random game that's not my main domain. Because just of the physics and the visuals and everything. Okay, this is literally like chicaning in these trucks. No! Oh my god! No! I'm gaining, I'm gaining. Here we go! One overtake, maybe two. No! Held it. I held a back end slide in a truck in, in, in snow. Okay, actually, I've actually caught up everyone. We're literally in a top five battle in the snow. And he's crashed! We're up to P2! No, spin it. The snow's not letting up. Now we just need, I need, all I need to hope on is P1 having an issue somewhere. Because up till then, I was actually going very well. I'm catching P1. I'm catching P1. I can see him. I can see him. Oh, no. Well, it's not going to be P1, but it's still going to be a podium. The top three, wind, rain or snow. We're actually not bad. Not bad. That was a bit of a longer endurance one. And that was quite very tricky. Visibility was mad. And with that, I think we're going to call it today, guys. That was a really awesome first adventure into Dakar Desert Rally. If you guys did enjoy the video, hit the like button. This was a sponsored video, but legitimately, I actually might play this again if you guys want me to. Because there was a lot more to explore. Other vehicles and just, I mean, the whole concept of that open world, but rallies going off on at the same time. Just mad to me. So let me know in the comments below. If you are new around here, then do get subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.